Uh, he's put the leadership part on every single one of us because there isn't like a specific guy that uh, need, needs to take leadership. I mean, everyone needs to take leadership on the team. Uh, and we're lacking that right now, obviously, as you said. Uh, and we're working every day to get better at it. How do you try to get better at it? Is it just being more vocal, making a big play? What, what are things that you have to do? Uh, yeah, definitely have to be more vocal. Uh, for example, last year, Sindarius, Dwayne, they were both vocal leaders, but at the same time, they they showed it uh, with their game. Uh, dur during practice, during uh, during games, they they always just uh, did their best, and that was enough of leadership from them. Mike, what do you think is missing right now? Um, no, I mean, there's there's something to improve on everything, literally everything. Uh, uh, we need to be better, at, our bigs need to be better at rebounding, at finishing at the rim. Uh, guards have a, a lot to improve on. There's just everything to get better at. Mike, uh, Frank mentioned that you kind of could see Wednesday coming because of Tuesday's practice. As a veteran guy on his team, did you sense that that Tuesday practice just wasn't there? And, and what do you guys do? The older guys do to kind of make sure it doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, Tuesday's practice was like it was, but uh, I feel like yeah, that uh, boils down to leadership again. That we have to be uh, good enough of leaders, especially the returners, that uh, we just can't let it happen. Justin, you come out and usually hit the first bucket or within the first couple mm -hmm. buckets of the game. Then there's some kind of stretches where maybe not getting the best look. Yeah. Just what have you seen on film? Yeah, I'm, I mean, definitely, like, I usually come out, I try, I try and get started early, because usually when, when I get early, when I start off early, like, I get a good groove. Like, there'll be, there'll be games where I hit shots, like, early against Coastal, against, I hit the first shot against Missouri. So I usually try and do that, but li lately, um, I've just been struggling, just trying to, like, find a groove and getting good rhythm. Just also because, like, the competition is growing with, with SEC play and everything, and that's, like, a new, it's kind of, like, a new start for me and everything. So I'm just trying to figure that all that, all that out. Is it more comfortable for you to have a set play to start, or do you like to freelance out there when, when USC really needs a bucket? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of just go with the, with the flow of the game, really. Um, it, it, it is nice like when, when we get to just execute what, what coach wants us to run and everything, and that definitely gets us shots and more open looks. So, Mike, what have you worked on to be more aggressive? I know that Frank was talking about the other night that he wants you to be more assertive on the offensive end. Uh, yeah, one thing that I have worked on and I have to work on a lot more is my shot. Uh, that would uh, have uh, forced the defenders uh, to come up uh, on the floor to contest the shot, which uh, also gives me uh, an opportunity to drive the ball more. Um, I mean, I, I kind of went into it knowing because of like the older guys that have told me how I was totally different than like once SEC play starts. That's like it's a totally different, totally different game. But um, definitely love the intensity of the game, the speed of the game, and like e even like at Ole Miss, you you just know that like it's just it's like totally different from from non-conference. So how hard is it to find I guess consistency with your shot and things and, and rhythm when you're playing good teams, you know, two times a week and in, in practice? Yeah, I mean it, it's harder it's harder to get open looks kind of I think. Um, but like I said. If, if we could execute coach's offense more, I think that it would be easier to find more open looks. So. Talk about the knowledge of going into SEC play knowing that it was going to be difficult. Is that what kind of kind of keeps you even keel yeah. right now, knowing that, yeah, you had a great non-conference, but SEC play was going to be challenging? Like, yeah. how do you kind of keep yourself kind of mentally stable there, not to get too high or too low? Yeah, um, I mean, really kind of just take it day by day. I'm, tr I'm trying to just, like, not – like, like like you said, like stay even keeled. So don't get like too high when I'm playing good, and don't get too low when I'm playing bad. You know, because I'm, I'm still just learning right now because it's my first time going through this. So. Justin, um, Mike, you say you guys have a lot to work on. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you even feel, you know, it's your first year? Do you feel you guys are getting close? Um, yeah, I, I mean, we're, we're definitely getting better. Like, even though we're going through a little tough stretch right now, um, I think like we're 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 gonna get a lot better because our leadership's gonna grow, and coach is really pushing us. So I think we'll be we'll be good. Mike, what do you remember about Vanderbilt from last year? And, uh, what do you, what do you think in terms 
what I remember from Vanderbilt last year was definitely that they can make shots. <laughs> they can. Uh, you can have a lead that you think is comfortable by eight, ten points, and then they just come over, hit a few threes, uh, make a run, and suddenly it's a one possession game. How frustrating was it the other night with Deontay Porter, a guy who maybe hadn't had you, shown you that on film, the ability to make threes like that, pick and pop, be as effective as he was? Uh, I mean, we were prepared for that. Uh, we knew that he can make shots, but. Uh, uh, but during the game, we we lost him, and that's uh, our mistake on the personnel part uh, that we didn't we weren't on him uh, and gave him open looks. Mike, what do you guys need to do better offensively? I don't know if it's burden on you, but when, when Chris isn't on the floor, the offense production does dip um, without his presence. What do you guys need to do differently there that, to kind of make up for his absence when he's not out there? Uh, I think we need to be more aggressive. Uh, stay aggressive on the floor because Chris brings a ton of energy to the game. Uh, I feel like uh, I need to improve on that and uh, uh, everyone else needs to improve on that also to keep the energy up when Chris leaves, uh, goes off court. Justin, what do you think about your aggressiveness at this point? Do you think it's that once you got to SEC play, do you feel like a little more, you talk about not getting the rhythm, do you feel mm -hmm. like you could be more aggressive when you get in SEC play? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely times where I could be more aggressive and just more serve on the floor. Um, I mean, also going earlier in the year, I was I was rebounding the ball a lot better. I was I, like I was getting a little more offensive rebounds. So um, towards the end, of, towards the, in the second half, a little bit in the Missouri game, I, I kind of went back to that, and like that kind of helped me get better, more of a rhythm, just going to the offensive glass. So. Do you feel comfortable playing playing in the paint, and do you feel like you're going to be trying to do a little bit more of that? I know you mentioned with the offense. Right? Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Um, just just being be, be being more aggressive, getting to the rim and everything, and especially when my shots not falling. So. Like, what do you tell guys like Justin and David that are, and Felipe, you know, freshmen getting a lot of time that are kind of going through this thing, kind of thrown in the fire right away and, and kind of going through the ups and downs of every freshman? Could be uh, I mean, yeah, it's hard. Uh, I went through it last year. Uh, started off uh, non-conference play pretty good, and then during during conference play, I mm, didn't play too good, uh, but. That's the that's the thing. We're a team. We're a family. We have to stay together and have to keep our heads up. Uh, have to support each other uh, through the good and bad times. Justin, you talk about you and David are pretty close mm -hmm. and kind of gone through this thing together. What mm -hmm. what have your conversations been been like as yeah. of uh, as of late? Yeah, I mean, we kind of just help each other through. Like we kind of help, just help each other. Like whenever whenever one one of us is down, like we'll, we'll know who if if I'm down or, or DB is down. So, I mean, he helps me a lot whenever when I'm struggling, and I'll help him a lot, so. Hey, Justin, what's the main thing that Coach Martin has been emphasizing to the team in the locker room? Yeah, um, I, I've lately just been, like like Mike said, like leadership and everything, so our leadership kind of has to grow. And just, just being more, we, we got to be more, like, enthusiastic about it and more, and, and just more, like, upbeat about, about playing and getting better. Mike, given that you guys are so familiar you know, with Vanderbilt, I guess what advantages do you feel that you guys have, you know, uh, I mean, one thing, of course, that I think we have a lot against a lot of teams is uh, uh, playing through the post, playing through the paint, getting paint touches, and then from there, either a kickouts or uh, scoring from the paint. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, we've been re very efficient if the ball gets into the paint during offense.